Reading Challenge Part 3 As they neared the village, the child could see many other footpaths full of throngs converging to the whirlpool of the fair, and felt at once rippled and fascinated by the confusion of the world he was entering. A sweet meat seller hawked gulab jam, rasagulla, burfi, jalebi at the corner of the entrance and a crowd pressured around his counter at the foot of an architecture of many coloured sweets. Decorated with leaves of silver and gold, the child sta- stared open eyed and his mouth watered for the burfi that was his favourite sweet. I want that burfi, he slowly murmured, but he half knew as he begged that his plea would not be heeded because his parents would say he was greedy. So without this Waiting for an answer, he moved on. A flower seller hawked a garland of galmohar, a garland of galmohar. The child seemed irresistibly drawn. He went towards the basket where the flowers lay heaped and half murmured, I want the garland. But he well knew his parents would refuse to buy him those flowers because they would say that they were cheap. So without waiting for an answer, he moved on. A man stood holding a pole with yellow, red, green and purple balloons flying from it. The child was simply carried away by the rainbow glory of their skin colours and he was filled with an overwhelming desire to possess them all. But he well knew his parents would never buy him the balloon because they would say he was too old to play with such toys. So he walked on further. A snake charmer stood playing a flute to a snake which coiled itself in a basket. Its head raised in a graceful bend like a neck of a swan. While the music stole into its invisible ears like the gentle rippling of an invisible waterfall, the child went towards the snake charmer. But knowing his parents had forbidden him to hear such coarse music as the snake charmer played, he proceeded for the further. There was a roundabout in full swing, men, women and children carried away in a wrinkling motion, screamed and cried with dizzy laughter. The child watched them intently and then he made a bold request. I want to go on the roundabout. Please, Father, Mother. Thank you for watching.